It is Monday, February 6, 2023, and we just moved the sheep and the puppies um, from over here. Um, it started to smell ripe. I was planning to move them today anyway, but it started to smell ripe, and now they have fresh grass. Um, the sheep have their own food, but they keep eating the dog food. Hey, Daniel. Daniel, put the dog food in the back of the dog pen because the sheep keep grabbing the dog food. So I think we need to figure out a feeding solution. Now, when I came out here to the field, the puppies were in the middle of the square and um, the sheep were there just kind of chilling with them. Oh, puppy's making a poo-poo. <laughs> so I think they are starting to bond with each other. Yeah. I think they are starting to bond with each other. Now, um, I saw a sheep with long hooves and I was gonna get some trimmers and trim the sheep uh, probably Wednesday. So today is Monday, so two days from now. I apologize for the wind. I lost the windscreen for my microphone. So I'm just using my phone right now. Uh, today is about 70 degrees. The sun is setting at this moment. You can see the beautiful sunset colors. Um, you can hear the rooster in the background. Come on out, Daniel. I just wanna see how the dogs get, act. And, um, what else to report? It was warm, southern wind, very strong wind. Um, the weather said it was like 20 mile an hour gust. It's more than that. Oops. There, see the sheep. The sheep need to learn about the fence too. One of the things the animals have to learn about getting shocked is that it's not going to kill them. They need to just calm down, just move away from the fence, and that's it. It's just a little warning. It's a tap, okay? And, uh, you know, I'm often thinking, is this a, a good way to do it? And the alternative is that I put them in a big pen with physical barriers that they keep breaking through. And they keep grazing the same grass over and over again and killing it. You know, moving the animals is important for the ground, for the animal's health and everything. Um, okay, I calculated, I think, one and a half days. Because the parasites the sheep have take about one and a half days to to what germinate I guess I don't know the right word but as long as I keep them moving off their poop every couple of days they should be fine you know and yes these are St. Croix they're parasite resistant they're not parasite immune there's a big difference so yeah I just don't want the sheep getting in there so I think our next little project maybe tomorrow tomorrow's busy not tomorrow maybe Thursday or Friday maybe Friday or Saturday we're gonna build a feeder for the dogs where the dogs can get the food, but the sheep can't. The sheep prefer the dog food over their own food. And I don't know why they're not eating their food, but they're not, okay? So, anyway, that's where we're at with the dogs and the sheep. Hopefully we'll get some good guard dogs going here. And I really need these sheep to have strong protectors. I was hoping to get puppies from Hindungi and nutmeg, or nutmeg rather, friend another great Pyrenees, but that didn't work out. We don't have puppies from her. Um, the coyotes here are wild. They're, they know how to, do. Daniel, do the chickens even have food? We gotta get, you wanna go feed the chickens, make sure they have food? They are vicious. They eat sheep. They attack little cats and dogs. Um, the Pyrenees and the big sheep dogs are the only things that can really protect you from the coyotes at night. And if we could, we would exterminate them. Um, they're little monsters. One, one of the things that people have been saying lately is that maybe the reason why the coyotes are such a problem in the U.S. is because the wolves are gone. The wolves used to hunt the coyotes and keep the population down, but now that the wolves are gone, you know, the coyotes are there. So, I don't know. I don't know, so maybe I'm reintroducing my own wolves back into the wild here. But uh, sheep dogs bonded with the sheep. It'll protect the flock, stay with the flock. Moving the sheep constantly so they're not, not eating their poo. They're eating fresh grass. Good for the grass, good for the sheep. Yeah? Yeah. Well, let's just do the best we can then. i got to build a shelter for the chickens to keep the food dry in the rain. All right, guys, have a great day. What are you saying?
Are you saying something? Are you sick or what? Anyway, take care, guys. Bye.